everyone. How are you today? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Paramji, and we are discussing about low sperm counts. And uh, we have already discussed the basic what exactly is low sperm count, what are the symptoms of low sperm count, when you should see a doctor uh, for a low sperm count, or even prior to trying to get to conceive a child, and what uh, is the baseline uh, reason for low sperm count. So today we are going to discuss about the health diseases, the medical diseases which can lead to low sperm counts and therefore infertility in males. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already then do that and don't forget to watch the other videos in this series of low sperm count and infertility to actually understand the topic better topic in details and uh, do follow the playlist to actually uh, get a notification of the next upcoming video on this segment. So low sperm count can be caused because of a number of health issues and even medical treatments. Some of them include infections, tumors and then traumas and genetic factors. So let's try and jot them down here. The first reason which I am going to talk about is varicocele. Varicocele is a swelling of the veins in the testicular area and this is basically the most common reversible reason of male infertility. That means it can be reversed. Although the exact reason why varicocele causes infertility in veins is unknown, but it might be that related to the uh, abnormal testicular temperature regulation and varicocele too result and reduced quality of sperms as well. So very costly if operated that can actually take care of your male fertility issues if very costly is causing the problem. The other reason can be infections. Some of the infections which can infer with sperm production and sperm health they can cause scarring and blockage of the passage or passage of the sperm. These include infections and inflammation of the testicles and its and with epididyme, which is the main storage sac of the semen. And uh, some of the infections are sexually, sexually, uh, sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea or HIV. Other infections can also result in these issues. Then infections can actually result to permanent testicular damage. And most often, if they are found out in an early stage, they can be treated up very well. <laughs> If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Third one is ejaculation problems. Yeah. So ejaculation, the most important issue in ejaculation to understand is retrograde ejaculation. See, that occurs when the semen enters the bladder during orgasm instead of emerging out of the tip of the penis. Now various reasons can be there for this retrograde ejaculation including say you have had a surgery on your bladder, prostate or urethra or you have had a spinal injury or even diabetes or even some medications can lead to retrograde ejaculation or generalized ejaculatory problems like blood pressure medications like alpha blockers which are not routinely used but sometimes can be used by some doctors and most of these ejaculatory problems can be reversed but others are permanent. So in most cases in if you are having an ejaculatory problem your sperms are good, still good and they can be retrieved directly from the testicles and then can be used. So that's not so bad right? <coughs> So, fourth cause of low sperm count are actually tumors, they are cancers, cancers of male reproductive organs, the testicles, the scrotum or other areas can actually lead to issues or even cancer treatments for any cancer in the body can actually affect male input, can actually affect your sperm count, chemotherapy, radiation or even surgery or cancers causing hormonal imbalance can actually cause this issue as well. Treating these cancers will obviously solve the problem. The 
Many times it's possible, many times it's not. And the fifth reason is the is antibody, immune system. Yes, sometimes your immune system in order which is which is designed to destroy an invader, a bacteria virus, can sometimes form an anti sperm antibody which is destroying its own sperms instead of the invader. This is sometimes, this does happen sometimes when your immune system identifies the sperm as an harmful invader and uh, destroys them. That happens. So, the sixth reason is undescended testicles. During fetal development, if one or both of your testicles fail to descend from the abdomen into the sac, which normally contains the testicle, that is the scrotum, this undescended testis can decrease the fertility and cause problems when you grow older. So getting a surgery for this can potentially solve the problem. And uh, so the seventh reason is hormonal imbalance. As we know, the, the hormonal glands, the pituitary gland inside the brain, and the hypothalamus, the part of the brain which controls the pituitary gland, they help in producing those hormones which stimulate the sperm production. So, these hormones are necessary. Any alterations in these hormones as well as other systems like thyroid or like thyroid or adrenal gland may impair the sperm production and cause low sperm counts. So, a hormonal checkup has to be done and if there is an issue with these glands then they can be corrected and your sperm count can increase. Yeah. So the eighth problem can be a problem with the transportation system. There are so many tubules which carry sperm inside the scrotum and even during ejaculation uh, from the scrotum to the epididymis to the penis and outside. So, all these tubules, there can be a problem in the movement of these tubules. The tubules can also be blocked due to various causes and uh, including surgeries or in infections or due to traumas or even uh, developmental issues such as cystic fibrosis or some inherited conditions. And such blockages can actually occur at any level. Any such blockages can actually occur at any level. And good thing about blockage is that the sperm quality is good. Still good and just like retrograde ejaculation, sperm can be taken out from the test tube itself and can be used and you can be helped. And the ninth reason is genetic, chromosomal defects, inherited disorders like say Clint-Pinter syndrome in which a male is born with two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome instead of one X and one Y, that can cause abnormal development of the male reproductive organs and uh, cause issues like low sperm counts. And other, other genetic syndromes can also lead to infertility including cystic fibrosis, there can be Kalman syndromes and Cartagena syndromes. So that's one of the reasons. Then tenth reason is a celiac disease, which is a gastro intestinal problem, a digestive disorder, <coughs> a digestive disorder. This causes a, this, a digestive disorder caused by sensitivity to gluten. So it is seen that people who have are more sensitive to gluten do show infertility issues and their infertility improves after adopting a gluten-free diet. So celiac disease patients can also have issues with low sperm count. Then the eleventh reason is surgeries. Certain surgeries might prevent you from having sperms in your ejaculate including vasectomy or inguinal hernia repair, scrotum or testicular surgeries, prostate surgeries or large abdominal surgeries performed for a testicular or a rectal cancer or in most cases but in most cases, surgery can be performed to either reverse these blockages or to retrieve the sperms directly from the 
epididymis or the testicles. Then the twelfth reason, the last medical reason which can cause problems of low sperm count is our <coughs> the twelfth and last reason for uh, low sperm count are medications. Yes. Testosterone replacement therapy, that means anabolic steroids taken by uh, anybody, even including bodybuilders or testosterone replacement therapy or long term use of anabolic steroids can lead to this problem. Uh, certain cancer medications, chemotherapy can lead to these problems. Uh, other looks like antifungal, sometimes some antibiotics, some unser medications are also seen to cause decreased sperm count. And obviously, these medications are now used only and only if necessary by your doctor. So, in that way, you can be assured that yes, if you take a medication by this prescription, then you'll be safe. Uh, so all these are medical reasons or medical diseases which can lead to low sperm count. So we have covered them all. Next time we'll see the environmental causes of low sperm count. What problems in the environment you are living in can lead to uh, low sperm count. So if you like what you are uh, if you are liking the information, the videos, don't forget to do like and share these videos. Do comment what you feel about my videos. Subscribe my channel and don't forget to ask your friends to subscribe it. We are doing a lot here and you need to do something. So this is Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Take care. Goodbye.